Hey, what are you thinking about doing? Don't even think about fast forwarding. What is up fam and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi. Today we're gonna be checking out something really cool. I know I say this every time, but this time I'm really serious. So this is amazing. And I'm gonna tell you more about why. But we're also gonna look at some of the other options that we have alongside that because I feel like it wouldn't make sense for me to just say, oh, this is amazing without showing you some of the other options that you have as well. Now, of course, this is one of those videos that could be kind of subjective because we're talking about, you know, emulation and hardware and it all comes down to personal preference, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> you know, speaking of subjective, I was watching Mad Little Pixel the other day and he brought up a very interesting subject, which is that, you know, people have the argument about emulation versus actual consoles and then there's the whole price debacle and whether or not it's an authentic experience and uh -huh. If you're playing the game, it's an authentic experience. You know, if the game's not running right, then maybe it's not an authentic experience and it's not enjoyable. However, I think with most systems that are emulated, especially ones that are considered, are considered especially ones that are considered retro, that they're pretty good. They're pretty passable. So as long as you have a controller to play it on, you're good to go. I mean, ideally, you want the original controller, right? Between the controller, game, and then looking at the console, what exactly makes a game authentic? Well, if you want the absolute sickest experience possible in the palm of your hands, I'm gonna tell you which one of these is the best option for you. So this is the RG505M. One of the really amazing things about this is that it's got an OLED screen and it's huge. Yes, huge, huge. You're probably saying, okay, great. I've watched videos on this. I've seen this stuff before. So what's your point? I'm going to show you a lot of different things in this video, like which consoles play the best, which consoles don't quite make it, and which ones you're going to care about the most. Which, if you like handheld gaming, you're definitely gonna care about which ones I'm talking about. So amongst a huge roster of amazing emulators and titles that you're going to be able to play on this thing, I say we get into this and I show you all the magic that's happening behind the screen of this thing. Yeah? Yeah? So with the RG505, you are going to be getting the highest specs that you can get on one of these little handhelds. It's important to note that the GPU and the higher amount of RAM, four gigabytes, is a huge help for this thing. On top of the fact that it has an A75 and A55. So it's packing a lot of punch for its size fitting that they've included a 4.95 inch OLED screen to showcase what this thing can do. The thumbsticks feel awesome with the Hall Effect sensors and that's supposed to also keep it from developing drift over time or ever getting really bad at least. Since it is an Android based system, you only have the one SD card slot for your games or apps if you want to sideload. As far as how much gameplay time you're actually gonna be able to pull out of this thing, on a full charge, I went roughly about six hours. And I keep the screen brightness up almost all the way because my eyes suck. A big thing that I think is kind of overlooked is that you have access to the Google Play Store, which means that you can use like the Steam app, PS5, Xbox, etc and you can play obviously indie games and app store games so that's a pretty cool feature this has been out for almost a year now and i don't know if it was included before but they do include a front end for all the emulators hmm? so what's on the menu as far as options 
Well, we've got the RG353P, I think this is the P, and then we've got the Superboy Hyper Beach Edition. Well, of course, and if you saw my recent video, the RG353V, this beast, this monster, the RG505M. Mm. Glorious. And of course, we'll talk more about that throughout the video. So what do we have that's comparable? Well, we have this RG353P and also the 353V. Now, both of these have the same specs, the V and the P, and you can consoleize both of them, which is really a nice advantage. You're going to notice is that it's going to be a step down in performance. Well, it'll play Dreamcast games. It's just that you might have to adjust the settings. So you see you kind of get those skips intermittently. Round one. And then there's this. This thing seems kind of silly. Now I'm using an FX pack in here. One thing to point out, and the reason why I wanted to bring this on is because here's the one thing I wanted to bring up about the Superboy. They're about a hundred dollars, 115 bucks. And gosh, I really like the color scheme, but the screen is subpar. It's almost like a Sega Nomad. The biggest thing though, is that the brightness is not very adjustable or the contrast. And unfortunately you get some washout on the screen, like white washout. And the upside is that it's convenient and you can play your actual Famicom or Super Nintendo, Super Famicom games with no issues and it's clone hardware. It's not emulation. I really wanted to like point that out. This is not emulation. It's clone hardware. It's convenient and it's colorful. Now the other thing is too, is you can consoleize this and you have the actual ports to plug in SNES controllers. But the video out is kind of like so-so. So if you see the screen, you can see it's kind of like washed out. Like that's not the camera. It's that's the actual screen that looks like that. Pretty bulky. The concept is really cool. Handheld to console, very easy. The biggest fail here is this screen. Okay, so if you guys have seen other videos on this, then you kind of have an idea of what it's gonna be like. But one of the most important things to note is that this is an OLED screen. In fact, it's the same OLED screen, allegedly, that's in the PS Vita. And it looks really good. So this system runs on Android. It's not a dual OS. You only have one SD memory card slot. 
and you can't consolize this, which is slightly disappointing since it's more powerful, but the bigger screen size definitely adds to the enjoyability of it, so to speak. Now, you have a whole build on here with all the emulators. It comes with pretty much everything. And I just stuck my custom SD card in here. Of course, then it just works with everything. What I also noticed though, and this is important to point out, is that over here on the side, you have this back button and then you have what looks like a power button. And if you touch the power button, it actually boots you into a front end. Now, once you turn it on, it stays. So next time it boots up, it'll boot into this. And of course, here we are in Dreamcast. Let me just say that this thing does an incredibly good job of playing Dreamcast and N64 games. Uh, I was surprised. And of course, it's a touch screen and the touch screen works really well. And the other nice thing about it is that it's Android. So if you have games that you bought in the Google store, you can download them on here and play them. Um, and the screen just looks incredible. And there's some good games on Android. Well, uh, let's check out Tekken 5. And this OLED screen is just like incredible. So when, when the game first boots up, you'll see this uh, kind of like control overlay. I don't know why um, it does that, but it does go away. Get ready for the next battle. Round one. Fight. The sound is also really nice. I think I have a bad dump of this game, but I 100% do. I know I do. Keep in mind you can go in and alter the settings of these games. Uh, like scan lines and screen ratio and all kinds of pretty much CPS 3 games, so Street Fighter 3. The D-pad is also really nice on this thing. Oh, I missed that one. But the D-pad is also really nice on this thing. And, um, it's, it's very easy to use. Dream. So it runs pretty much everything perfectly. Uh, let's go ahead and check out. Holy. Crap, dude, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh, 
Pro. Where is the other? And the Dreamcast version is forever the best port, and some even say better than the arcade version. But yeah, it runs as smooth as butter. I mean, no issues with any of these games that I'm running on here. And uh, House of the Dead also runs. If it starts to get a little bit dodgy, check out your, see what you're running there, because uh, that could slow you down. Feel the rage of my spin out. Hey, it actually runs pretty good. Oh, there, that this spot always. There's like weird slow down there, no matter what you play it on. But yeah, that's that's not bad, to be honest. The feel is kind of bad. I am rusty. Just call me rusty dusty. Waste and peaches everywhere. Like I see this new generation of kids playing Super Mario and they don't even run. It drives me nuts. Whatever. <sighs> Magical. I wonder why they redid that.3DS I have not tested, so I don't know how 3DS is going to run. Um, but I would think it, it, it would run pretty well, to be honest. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Every subscriber counts. But with that being said, I hope you got something out of it. And I can tell you one thing. 
I love this 505M. Like, I, I think I'm gonna have to keep it. You guys, take care, stay safe, and until next time, I'll see you then. Hello, my name is Cheryl, and today I'm gonna be going over a couple things with you, okay? Let's just go ahead and get started, okay? Not so good as, no. You don't want to get started? Okay. Well, let's do this, okay? Let's try to do something that's going to be really fun for everybody. Huh? All right. Now, look, my nails are not as glorious as they could be. God bless them. But I'm going to do a lot of handy on touchy stuff with the, you know, little video game thingies here. All right? Okay. Very good. Oh, just look at this. Look at all the colors. I love the colors here. Very nice colors, yeah. This one's a little bit bland, but I mean, it's got a big screen. It's got a real big screen. Oh, this looks familiar. That's a familiar design, isn't it? Another familiar design, huh? <sighs> okay, my mother told me never to go on camera without my hair being done, and I just, I feel like it's a little out of whack here, huh? Okay. Mm.